Just a few miles south of Portland, Oregon, with all its modern shopping districts and high-tech culture, the golden age of yesteryear is still alive and well. <gasps> Welcome to Bob's Red Mill, where ancient stone grinding techniques are still used to produce the nation's finest quality natural, organic, and gluten-free flour, cereals, and other whole grain foods. Bob Moore, proprietor. Part of this started when I ran across this book called John Goffey's Mill, by George Woodbury. The book was published about 1950, about 1950 and uh, I just ran across it in the library. Uh, it, this fellow inherited an old water-powered flour mill in, uh, in Bedford, New Hampshire. Around the turn of the century there were old stone grinding water-powered mills all over the United States. So the whole fascination with the simplicity of taking the grains, putting it through between two stones, and making uh, either flour with it or cereals with it, uh, is, it's as, as old as the earth. And it certainly fascinated me. When I finished the book, he got his mill going. He was making whole wheat flour, cornmeal, and selling it locally. And it was a wonderful thing. And I thought, good grief, if this guy can do that, I can do it. Even by this time, in the early 70s, most of the old grist mills had become quaint relics, relegated to museums of industry. But Bob Moore was determined to reinvent the art of stone milling. You know how it is. I mean, just takes one. Wrote me that he had heard of a fellow in Muncie, Indiana, who had been hired to restore the Metamora Mill. While he was restoring the mill, he had discovered a mill in Fayetteville, North Carolina, that had some equipment they were willing to give to the Metamora mill. And you know, through him, Dewey Sheets, bless his heart, he was almost 90 when I met him, and that was a long time ago. Uh, he was able to put something together that I could approach these people and buy the milling equipment out of this mill and bring it to California. That first mill in a Quonset hut in Redding, California, opened in 1972 with Bob, his wife Charlie, and eventually their three boys all working in it. This was our first effort. And uh, I, I, I'm telling you, we we only had three parking places, and, and they were full all the time. <laughs> it was the craziest thing in the world how, how people glommed onto this. After a successful run in California, Bob and Charlie sold the flour mill to their boys, moved to Oregon, and then, purely by accident, found another old mill located on the rail line south of Portland. They couldn't resist. Well, I don't know. I've never really worried about taking chances in my life before. So we started the old mill back up. I went to the same fella, Dewey Sheets, in Muncie, Indiana. <laughs> Dear old uh, Dewey, he was able to get us started here in, in uh, Portland, Oregon. What makes Bob's Red Mill so special is their small batch production and stone grinding technique, so very different from the way most flour and meals are produced in America. The mill stones don't touch one another, they're just the grain, and they reduce the grain down to flour, and when it comes out of the mill, it's hardly warmer than it was when it went in. Bob's Red Mill makes an incredible variety of flour, cereals, mixes, and other natural foods, including many that are produced from grains that are almost as old as agriculture itself. One thing we found is that these lovely old stone mills just about grind anything. And uh, as we develop the exotic grains of the world, sorghum is uh, part of the, uh, uh, the diet. Used to be just figured for bird food but it has wonderful nutrients and has become on the first line of gluten-free uh, baking and cooking. Flax, oh my goodness. Well, flax was very popular in uh, Egypt and all through Europe and actually the Orient. Really, flax has been all over the world. It's one of the most nu nutritious foods you can put in your body. The uh, omega-3 oils are very, very wonderful for keeping your cholesterol under control. It's got wonderful fiber in it. And uh, I think this is one of the most pleasing products that we make. There's the pride of the mill, steel cut oats, the golden spurtle, 
the world's best oatmeal. We won that prize last year in Scotland. We're so proud. They thought this was the best oats in the world. We have amaranth and, and quinoa and teff and, and uh, any number of these, um, of these ancient grains that have become uh, really a wonderful part of our product line. <laughs> Wherever there's grains, I'm always pushing something. In 1988, the first Bob's Red Mill facility burned to the ground as part of a string of arsons. But Bob and Charlie decided to start over and created the beautiful 325,000 square foot mill they have today, including a dedicated gluten-free section and a popular retail store. Now 81, Bob Moore is still an energetic evangelist for stone milling, gluten-free, and whole grain diets. He travels the world in search of grains, seeks out and works on millstones, walks the plant floor, checks in on the lab, and has a grand yeah. old time. Hello, Danny! Hey, I see you mowed your lawn. Boy, your house looks nice. Enormously proud of his 209 employees, Bob recently signed the paperwork to make Bob's Red Mill an employee-owned company. That was on his 81st birthday. We're making a living at it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. People are buying it. It's good food, and it's a simpler way, and, and I, guess, I, I just love it. I've been a miller for over 40 years, and uh, I welcome you here to Bob's Red Mill.